Hello there and welcome to the series of videos that's going through the content of A-level maths. Here we're going to look at increasing and decreasing functions using the differential so we can answer questions from exercise 12G. Now what is an increasing and decreasing function? Well an increasing function is one that always has a positive gradient. If you take the gradient along any point of this line it's always going to be positive. And a decreasing function you can imagine will always be decreasing as its gradient. Its gradient will always be a negative value. So in this case, the gradient is always negative. Some, for some functions, it goes from a increasing function to a decreasing function, then maybe back to an increasing function. Um, so for example, this curve here, at this point here, it's an increasing function. The gradients are positive. So when x is a negative number, <coughs> our graph is a increasing function. But when it moves past the zero marker, it starts to move downhill again, which makes it a decreasing function for this value, these values of x. So in this case here, it's decreasing <coughs> for when x is positive and increasing for when x is uh, negative. When x is equal to zero exactly, it has a gradient of zero. And in which case we call this a stationary point. Now this is going to become a keyword in a couple of videos time. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to look through a function and find the values of x for which certain functions are either increasing or decreasing functions. So show that the function f of x equals x cubed plus 24x plus 3 is an increasing function. So that means no matter what value of x, the gradient is positive. So how can we show that the gradient is always positive? We can differentiate it. So differentiating our function here, we get 3x squared plus 24. Now, how can we show that this gradient is always going to be positive? Well, the 3x squared component, that's always going to be positive or equal to 0. And then when we add on 24, this is going to be positive as well. So given that this function here is always going to be greater than 0 for all values of x that are real, um, the function here is an increasing function. <coughs> right, uh, for this question here, find the range of values for which x cubed plus 3x squared minus 9x is decreasing. So uh, what we need to do here is not show that all of the x values are going to be decreasing as a function, but that which values will have a decreasing function or a negative gradient. So what we need to do first, if we want to look at the gradients, we need to differentiate. So the first thing we do is differentiate 3x squared plus 6x minus 9. And what we want to do now is find when this is a negative gradient. So we're going to effectively now try and solve 3x squared plus 6x minus 9 is less than 0. So what we need to do for this is factorise out and factorise again. So what we'll see here is that uh, we're going to have x um, is greater than minus 3 or x is less than 1. Remember the way that we can do that is we can draw a quick sketch of our graph and find which values it's going to be negative for. Um, so x is going to need to be um, bigger than minus 3 and x is going to be less than 1. So it's going to be in between 3 and 1. Okay, how can we show this with a sketch? Well, going back to this original function up here, um, the graph is going to look something like this, such that when we're in between the boundaries of minus 3 and 1, we can clearly see here that this function here is going to have negative gradients throughout this whole period. And for the bits that we haven't included, they're going to have positive gradients. Okay. Right, then pause the video and have a go at this question. Right, okay, let's have a go at these questions here now. So f of x equals 3x squared plus 8x plus 2 is an increasing function when... Uh, dot, dot, dot. So, okay, let's have a go at this then. So, the uh, first thing we need to do 
is differentiate. So we're going to get 6x plus 8. So what we want to do is find out when 6x plus 8 is greater than 0. So we'll take the 8 onto the other side, so it's going to be uh, greater than minus 8. Divide through by the 6, and it's going to be greater than minus 4 over 3. <clears throat> okay, so for the second question here, show that the function 4 minus x bracket 2x squared plus 3 is decreasing for all values of x existing in the reals. <clears throat> so the first thing I would do is rewrite this out and have a look at what it looks like when it's expanded. So it's going to be 4 minus 2x cubed and minus 3x from the making sure that we expand the negative x with both these components. And then we're going to differentiate it after this. So this is going to give us uh, the 4 will differentiate to 0. Then it's going to be minus 2x, no, minus 6x squared and uh, minus 3x. <clears throat> So given that x squared is greater than 0, minus 6x squared is always going to be less than 0, or less than or equal to 0, and then when we do it's minus 6x squared minus 3, this is definitely going to be less than 0. So <clears throat> as x squared is positive, minus 6x uh, squared is negative, so minus 6x squared take away 3 is strictly negative. Hence the graph is a decreasing function. Hence, this is a decreasing function. Okay, so that's the answer to this question here then. So have a go at some questions from exercise 12G. Uh, persevere through those difficult ones and ask a teacher for help. Thanks for watching.